I just want to say fabulous performance, great movie. And I wanted to start by asking you about the relationship that you had with Jake in the film. When you started to do this movie, did you have any idea you were going to be spending this much time just in prep work getting to know him? Yeah, um, the director says, dude, you guys are going to literally hang out all the time. You know that? In order for, like, he's like, I know how it is. He's like, dude, a lot of people don't, they don't have, like, the like the like that brotherhood, you know, right off the bat, and it'll take a while. And I was like, I'm willing to do whatever because I love the script so much. And it was, like, entertaining, like, my kind of entertainment. And uh, I, uh, so I was pretty prepped for it. Um, as far as, like, how it actually turned out, the first couple months were rough. First couple months, we, we didn't have it, and uh, and we you know we tried and tried and tried, I mean, maybe trying too hard, and then something happened along the you know, I get the third month I think, um, you know we, it, it's funny but I'm like I, that's when I thought like I think it was during one of the ride-alongs too where I, I felt like if it came down to it he would definitely he wouldn't run he would help me out, and uh, you know, he stopped being like this big act I mean big um, movie star and like being like my buddy. Uh, and that was, I mean, that was, I thought that was really cool. And uh, the fourth month, we knew the entire script. You know, we were off book and stuff, and I was like, let's shoot. Let's get this rolling. When you said let's shoot, it's uh, interesting that you did actually do some of the shooting. Right? Yeah. What was that like for you? Um, that was that was interesting, because I'm not a cameraman. Like, a cameraman really has, like, a gift with lighting and, you know, angles and stuff like that and how to capture the best. Um, I'm not gifted in that realm. Um, I'd like to think that I am, but I'm like, yeah, I'm not. Um, it was basically me having the camera here, a monitor, and somebody like, you know, I'd have to run for sure, of course, and they'd light, they lit like an alley. Um, <clears throat> and then they would, and then when I do this, it was really interesting because then the next shot was like of me and with the gun. Um, so I thought that that was, that was so interesting and I've never done that before and I see it in the movie. And it actually helps the movie and like the adrenaline, you know, in those kind of scenes. Yeah. Just quickly, I know you probably have some great projects coming up, and I wanted to ask you about Gangster Squad. Is that happening? Is that done? Or? Yeah, we we finished reshoots. Uh, it's going to come out in January, um, and it, that one's that one's a crazy movie. It's got Gosling and Josh Brolin, uh, Anthony Mackie, Nick Nolte, uh, Emma Stone. I'm somewhere in the mix. It's craziness. And then I finished Chavez, uh, um, a movie about this uh, Mexican fa um, uh, farm worker who was like, who led one of the biggest uh, nonviolent movements uh, actually in the history of America. Wow. And there's one other one too that I had marked down that was uh, about the LAPD. Is that another That's one? That's End of Watch. No I thought it indicated there was another one. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this okay. is it. Just the end of Watch one. You said that you're not talented as a, as a filmmaker, but I mean as a shooter, but did, did this film make you want to become a director? It actually, like, I, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking, like, it would be cool to actually, like, I, I need to do, like, a little bit more camera work, um, but I would love to work with actors and, you know, tell a good story if I could. I'm sure you could. Well, right I congratulate on. on this film, and I hope it does really well for you. Okay, thank, thank you. you much.